fired from a canister or tube launcher. This missile was designed and built by McDonnell Douglas for the US Navy, and it was to have over the horizon capability and have all weather ability. This version of the Harpoon has a range of 50 nautical miles. The Harpoon is a flexible weapon, and it can be fired from ships or submarines. The aircraft version is the AGM-84. Once launched, the missile... The missile is used on a wide variety of naval vessel, from the larger battleships down to the smaller patrol ships. And more than 15 navies throughout the world use it. The French equivalent of the American Harpoon is the French Exocet missile and is built by Eurospace L. This rocket-driven missile proved its worth for Argentina in the Falklands campaign as it crippled or destroyed various British ships. It can be fired by aircraft, ship or submarine and has a range of more than 26 miles. When launched, the missile will curve to attain the target and descends to near sea level. It is kept on course by its internal guidance platform and radar alternator. The ADAC adaptive radar commences operation when the Exocet comes within six miles of its target. The ADAC sweeps the area and acquires the target steering the missile to impact with the target at optimum height above the waterline. The SM-39 is the submarine variant. The Exocet is launched with special containers from the submarine's torpedo tubes. The AM-39 is the air launch type. Over 100 Exocets were fired by Iraq during the Gulf War. Most versions of this missile have a hexal light and steel block warhead and are designed to detonate after penetrating the hull of the target. These are some examples of the Exocet hit. Sea Dart is a surface-to-air missile system mounted on air defence destroyers of the Royal Navy. The weapon is powered by a combination of solid fuel booster rocket, which is used for launching the missile, and simple ramjet, which gives it a speed of Mach 2. The missile is effective over a range of approximately 80 kilometres. Sea Dart entered service in 1967 on HMS Bristol, before becoming widespread on the Type 42 destroyers. The Sea Dart equipped Type 42s are reaching the end of their service lives. The much more capable PAMS missile system will replace the Type 42 from 2007. The standard British air defence missile, the Sea Dart, is a semi-actively homing ramjet. The Sea Dart is credited with seven aircraft shot down during the Falklands War. It can also operate against aircraft. It has been used by the Royal Navy since 1979 and has been fired in anger during the Falklands War and the Persian Gulf conflicts.
The manufacturers claim the missile can intercept targets as small as 140 millimeter shells. BAC developed the system from a 1964 requirement. A contract was awarded in 1967 to BAC, Vickers and Bristol Aerojet. Testing lasted from 1970 until 1977. The Aegis Combat System, named for the mythological Aegis Shield, is a United States Navy weapon system. The first cruiser of this class was the Ticonderoga. The manufacturers claim the missile can intercept targets as small as 114 millimeter shells. BAC developed the system from a 1964 requirement. A contract was awarded in 1967 to BAC, Vickers and Bristol Aerojet. Testing lasted from 1970 until 1977. The Aegis Combat System, named for the mythological Aegis Shield, is a United States Navy weapon system. The first this is the Chief Offensive and Defensive Missile of US Navy Fleet and will remain so approximately until the year 2010. It can be used to destroy aircraft, cruise missiles and missile launch platforms. The computer-based command and decision element is the core of the Aegis Combat System. This interface makes the Aegis Combat System capable of simultaneous operation against a multi-mission threat, anti-air, anti-surface and anti-submarine warfare. The Navy built the first Aegis-equipped destroyers using the hull and machinery designs of Spruance-class destroyers. The heart of the system is an advanced automatic detect and track multi-function three-dimensional phased array radar. Known as the shield of the fleet, this high-powered radar is able to perform search, track and missile guidance functions simultaneously with a track capacity of over 200 targets at more than 200 miles. ...turn towards its target. The radars generate an enormous amount of information regarding so many targets and produce instant solutions. The Aegis equipped vessels are probably the first vessels in history the submarine occurs below the ocean surface. The missiles are ejected from their tubes by gas pressure created by a gas generator. A solid fuel rocket motor attached to the bottom of the missile tube and exhausting into it. Both Trident versions are three-stage solid propellant inertially guided missiles whose range is increased by an aerospike, a telescoping outward extension that halves frontal drag. After the missile leaves the tube and rises through the water over the submarine, the first stage motor ignites, the aerospike extends and the boost stage begins. The Trident is carried by 14 active US Ohio class submarines and four UK Vanguard class submarines. The Tomahawk land attack missile is a long range all weather subsonic cruise missile with stubby wings. Introduced by General Dynamics in the 1970s, it was designed as a medium to long range low altitude missile that could be launched from a submerged submarine. It has been improved several times and is now made by Raytheon. There have been several variants employing several kinds of warheads. The operational versions include the unitary conventional land attack, TLAM-C, the bomblet dispensing land attack, TLAM-D, and the nuclear land attack, TLAM-A and TLAM-N. 
There is also the Tomahawk anti-ship missile, TASM. By far the biggest improvement is making the Tomahawk network-centric warfare capable, using data from its multiple sensors, such as aircraft, satellites, foot soldiers, tanks and ships to find its target. The tactical Tomahawk can be reprogrammed in flight to attack one of 16 pre-designated targets, with GPS coordinates stored in its memory or to any other GPS coordinates. Also, the missile can send data about its status back to the commander. It entered service with the Navy in late 2004. Tomahawks are difficult to intercept due to their small size, small radar cross-section and low altitude flight. The missile is launched and steered for the first few seconds of flight by a solid fuel booster with steering vanes in its exhaust. Then the stubby wings and control surfaces are deployed and the turbofan engine takes over. Over water, the Tomahawk uses inertial guidance to follow a preset course. Once over land, terrain contour matching aids the inertial system. Terminal guidance is provided by the Digital Scene Matching Area Correlation System, producing a claimed accuracy of about 10 metres. The Kosovo War in 1999 saw HMS Splendid become the first British submarine to fire the Tomahawk in anger. The Royal Navy later used them in the 2001 Afghanistan War and Operation Telic, the British contribution to the 2003 Iraq War. The Tomcat was the first fighter to have the remarkable Phoenix missile system. The test operation was called 6 on 6. If the test was successful, the system would prove to be a quantum leap in fighter ability. The objective of the test for the Tomcat's pilot was to attack and down six targets simultaneously. The targets included two drones that flew at supersonic speed, three training aircraft which simulated slower moving targets such as bombers, and another ground launch drone to imitate a supersonic missile. On the radar, the six targets were identified and designated a prefix. From that point on, the pilot just pressed the firing button as the targets became locked on. At one time, all six missiles were in the air tracking their targets. This was due to the 50 mile range of the Phoenix. It was determined after retrieving the test data there were some slight modifications the Tomcat Phoenix combination would, under combat conditions, give the pilot an 80% hit rate. 